All right, good afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this video. Um, you are all wondering how to use the Google Classroom. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the very basics of it so that, you know, you can be more familiar with it. So we're going to create a class, right? Create class, or you're going to name your class. So then we're going to do a test class, right? Test right? subject. I don't know. Let's use technology, right? This is literally, this is literally that. We're going to create, we're going to create that classroom. And we're gonna wait for a very long time and hope that it works one day great it works now uh wonderful so you'll see that this is a stream this is like your twitter feed your facebook news feed whatever happens you and your class and your students will see what is going on for example let's create something all right so this is what we're now here this is what we're going to do we're going to create there are different things you can create Assignment is something that you give to someone. It's due. It's graded. Quiz assignment is self-explanatory. Question is something you can ask somebody. And then material is just stuff that you want the entire class to review. Where do you material? Right. Where do introduction? Right. Right. Where do you like? I don't know. All right, and then we're going to go here, all right? Type it as true, all right? Or class one, doesn't matter. Now, you there's diff now you can also, right? You're going to now upload your file, upload your content in there. There are four ways to do that. One is Google Drive. This is a file that's already on your Google Drive, all right? It's not on your computer. You already uploaded it onto your Google Drive. Recent just shows the recent files that you've accessed. Upload means that you're just going to select it directly from your device. My Drive. Now, if you know how your drive is organized, right, then you can just access different folders. But if it's a file you just uploaded, the best thing to do is to just click here. Here. Now, if you want to directly upload something for your computer, you click on here, File, and you're going to select the stuff from your drive. All right, great. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then we're to close, All right? And you add close. Let me see what I could upload. I keep an example. It's a good. Hey, look, it's the cover sheet that I'm going to use. Sure, why not? It's like I'm breaking the fourth wall. Okay, let's upload that. All right, this is taking forever, but you get the idea. And then, of course, you can also, if you want the entire class to watch a YouTube video, you can also do a YouTube. You can use the search, you can just use the search function. I don't know, I've been, he's been making very good at COVID 19 videos lately, so I'm just gonna example. Right, I select, I add. I can also copy and paste the URL, if you know how to do that, uh, over here. But if you just want to use the search function and you're not as tech savvy, then you hope that you can eventually find the video, then that's what you're going to do. Or add. So you can do this for as many files as you want. And finally, link, right? If you want, just type, a, if there's a website that you want all the kids to go to, you just type in all the link. Here, you do add link, and you're and you're good to go. So, and of course, if you want to take something away, all right, this, you want to take it out this, all right, then you do that. Now, you can post it, there, now, there are three ways to post. The thing with Google, when there's an arrow, right, that implies that there's going to be multiple options. So, in this post, you can just post, or you can see what kind of options there are. You can post this directly right now. You can schedule, which is the same thing as post, except it'll post at the very specific time that you want to. For example, today is the 17th. If you want to post it tomorrow at 8 a.m., then you, well, it's already done for you, right? Or 9 a.m., that's also done for you as well. Then you can schedule it. And that's when it's going to upload. And it'll say, ooh, schedule tomorrow at 9 a.m. And then, of course, you can upload it. It will show you what is already in the lesson and you can of course always change your edit materials before it goes online for your people to see for your um, students to see 
or you can just post it immediately, right? You can change and you can hit post and it'll stream to students. Now there's nobody in this classroom, thankfully, but still we're just gonna do we're just gonna do schedule and we're gonna delete later. And for furthermore, you can actually select who which classroom it's gonna go to. All right, you can do it for just a classroom. This has no students, or you can do it for, so you can do this for multiple classrooms at the same time. Now we're gonna stop. Stop here. We're gonna do the whole schedule thing. The schedule. And now we're gonna talk about the other part. Create. Let's do assignment. This has the exact same thing now. Now I'm not sure how to do. All right, the functions are the same. You can, oh, that's right, mesh create. This creates a new Google slide, a new Google Doc, a Google Sheet. But you know, it's best that you just upload it straight from Drive. And of course, this is a, you know, you have your rubric, your assignments, all right? The functions are the same, except you can now select the due date in which they finish their assignments, all right? And then of course, you hit assign, you can schedule, and basically it's the same thing. Of course, let's go to end. Of course, grades are the grades that they've got for assignments. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much how you uh, create classwork, how you create different kinds of classwork, and how to upload different types of files. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you want me to shoot another video, you know, something you feel everyone's struggling at, you know, send an email to timehackcontact at gmail.com, and I will be glad to help you upload that video. All right, thank you very much.